Okay then, I've got some vinyl to unbox here, some metal vinyl. And I bought myself this record as a birthday present well over a month ago, and I haven't opened it up. But I don't know, I'm one of these people who just likes to have something for a rainy day to open up when I feel like it. And today is the day that I feel like it. So this is one of my favorite all time thrash metal albums. And I've all, I already own it on um, various formats. In fact, every format, <laughs> well, almost every format, well, certainly every format it's been released on, I'll tell you that for nothing. But I don't have it on this particular Brazil record label. Yeah, this is the Brazilian release of, let me just turn this around for maximum reveal, even though some people watching this video will never even have heard of this record. It's Eternal Devastation by Destruction, the German thrash overlords. Now, this is an amazing album. I absolutely love this as soon as I heard it. It's got the kind of production that is not for everyone, and some people really don't like it, but I certainly do. It's very trebly, um, but it's got a really unique kind of clear and sharp sound. So let's see. Yeah, this is a good, this was a good seller on Discogs. And uh, wow, it's really funny to see a different sort of center label, he said, incredibly geekily. Yeah, this is on Woodstock um, Records. Uh, so this is the 1987 Brazilian release of Eternal Devastation. Now, how do I, how do we do this? How does this open up? What's the best way? This is the best way. Let's do it like this. And um, I think this is probably more, usually more expensive. I got it a bit more cheaply, partly because it was from a seller in Ireland rather than in Brazil. So the shipping was a little bit cheaper. And also because it's not in like perfect, gorgeous, glossy condition, uh, which I don't mind. I think I quite like sometimes kind of vinyl sleeves that have been through the wars a bit. Now, interestingly, this is not glossy in the same way that the Steam Hammer slash SPV release of this record was. And, um, and yeah, so that, that feels different for a start. Let's see if the back is much different. No, not really. And it's got SPV and Steam Hammer here. And it's, it's, I was almost thinking, hold on, is this actually the Steam Hammer SPV sleeve? But you can just about see here that um, it has Woodstock Discos um, here, Woodstock Records. So basically, Woodstock Records imported this record in and, um, and just put their stamp on it. But there's, there's definitely a difference inside. And I'll, I'll show you what that is now. Classic, uh, classic pictures here of the band members. Tommy wasn't in the band for too long, uh, but he does a good job here. And Mike, the guitarist, does an especially amazing job. This album is just wall-to-wall -wall Riffarama. It's absolutely crazy. Yeah, and seven songs. I love that these were the days when you could get away with just having seven songs on a record, but each one of them was better than, uh, you know, the, the average song on a record that has 13 songs on it. I think when bands used to be able to get away with seven songs, they were getting away with that in a sense, but I think generally the quality was higher because it had to be. I kind of have a similar theory about EPs, the way that songs on an EP um, tend to be better because they have to be. Each song is carrying more weight. Now, inside here, there's a lovely, I really hope there is, yes, the seller assured me there was, there's an inner sleeve, which is not present in the Steam Hammer SPV release, which is really cool. So basically, it seems like uh, Woodstock imported the, the vinyl records from SPV, and produce their own insert here. And so here we see some of the Woodstock uh, releases, Walls of Jericho, Exciters, Violence and Force, Endless Pain by Creator. Actually, that'd be a nice one to get as well. And here, this is one of the things that made me really want to get this. It's just a little sort of potted story of destruction so far at that point in 1987. And 
yes, it continues here. And here's a picture. Hmm, have I seen that picture before? I don't know if I have. It's not on the Steam Hammer release of this record, I'm pretty sure. Yes. And the discography. I wonder whether they um, licensed the previous two Destruction albums. You'd think they'd be here, listed here, if they had. I don't know. Um, let's just take a quick look. Let's just make sure there's nothing else in here. I don't know. There's just always been something about Brazilian um, extreme metal bands and Brazilian record labels that I've loved. There's some kind of mystique about them. Record labels like Cogumelo and uh, um, what's the other one? Rock Brigade. Yeah. So let's have a look at the song titles here. Curse of the Gods. An amazing song. Great opening. Uh, tune. Conf Confound Games. Another great song. Life Without Sense. One of the band's all-time classics and then on the other side there's no letdown in quality um no downturn in quality rather united by hatred eternal ban upcoming devastation oh spell incorrectly there that almost kind of adds to the value of it really upcoming devastation with uh, two m's instead of one lovely and actually was it is that right upcoming devastation yes it is yeah the spelling has just confused me a bit and then the closing thrasher confused mind love it and i should be playing this now yes here are some other destruction videos on the screen that you'll probably want to carry on watching and please remain possessed by metal <laughs> 